Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're here to talk about a very simple tip for you, but it will improve your filmmaking and because it will make your work much better. It comes from a question of one of our followers, uh, Alex Benson, that tells, if you had to choose, which aspect of filmmaking is the most important to you? Okay, I know that we are all concerned about vlog, about exposing, about lighting, about cool gear, about all these things, all these fancy things, but I'm more into planning and writing and structuring a story more than all these things. Because in the end, uh, people and your friends don't come to you with something spectacular without a meaning. People share stories, people share good stories. Um, I think we as filmmakers, we are storytellers. So if we want to tell a story, we need to plan. Um, because from planning, you have an intention. Um, with intention, you have a structure. And from a structure, you have a story. So to tell stories, we need to plan beforehand. And I know that's essential if you are, we are doing fiction or commercials. But even in events, when you don't know what you are going to find there, it's good to have a plan in your head because it it's makes you relaxed when you are there filming. Like for example, I'm not telling you to do a, a storyboard, but for example a shot list or if it's a corporate video, take all the information that you come from your client, what they want, and from that information, that brief, you can structure beforehand what's your idea for the video. Maybe you don't know a lot about the event, but for example, you know that it's in a big building. So you can plan by doing a shot list of, for example, exterior shot of the building, people entering in, um, whatever. Because otherwise you'll feel that you are lost, you are like hunting, you never know when to finish shooting, you have a lot of material that you don't know how to put it together, and that shows, because I have seen even incredible videos online, but they don't have a story, so I, I get disconnected from, from the storytelling. So I think it's good to have a story to tell, even the silliest story has an structure, you know? So yeah, planning before will give you freedom, and you'll be like confident to go to your client and tell him, okay, we're finished here because you have, you know, ticked all the shots that you wanted for your story. And unless they want something more specific, you can leave, you can leave the place with total confidence because you are, you are doing a job with a purpose, you know, intentional. So they will be relaxed with your work too. So yeah, we love our cameras, we love our lighting, we love our gear, but everything starts with a pen, a paper, your computer, your brain, and your intention. This is the tip for today. And drop us a like if you like it, subscribe, share. And here below the description, you have a link to download some templates that can be useful for your work. See you next week, guys.